G'day Blender Heads. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly rig and animate these kind of creatures using the Auto Rig Pro Rig Library extension, as well as utilizing the free Sketchfab add-on to quickly get some awesome models. If you wanna know how to create these kind of creature shots, stick around. First off, the Rig Library is a collection of 24 new rig presets for the Auto Rig Pro add-on, each of which comes with a walk cycle animation. So yes, you will need to have a copy of Auto Rig Pro to be able to use the Rig Library. You're going to need both. Auto Rig Pro is primarily an auto rigger, but it also comes with hands down the best motion capture tools currently available in Blender, as well as having easy export options for video game software such as Unity or Unreal Engine. Auto Rig Pro is one of my favorite Blender add-ons and it would not be an exaggeration to say it's one that I use every single day. So I'm optimistic the Rig Library is going to be a wonderful extension to one of my already favorite tools. Once you've installed the Rig Library, you'll see a whole bunch of new presets under the Add Armature drop-down menu. These ones at the top are the default ones that come packaged with Auto Rig Pro, and these 24 below are the new ones that we now have to play with. To start with, I'm going to load up the Allosaurus Rig, because, you know, it's a dinosaur. Of course I'm going to start with the dinosaur. You'll notice that by default we don't actually get that walk cycle animation. Don't worry though, it's just hiding in the action editor. So if we swap the default action out for the walk cycle, boom, walking with dinosaurs. For rigging purposes, it's gonna be a lot easier if we have the default pose. So I'm gonna switch this back while we go and find a model. So where do we find some nice and preferably free models to practice with? Well, obviously you have the option of modeling or sculpting your own. And shameless self plug here, but if you want help quickly creating your own creatures, Maybe go and have a look at my new Creature Kitbash add-on. It's a library of over 150 humanoid and creature body parts that you can kitbash together to create all sorts of fantastic beasts for your animations. But if you need something quickly, I'm going to recommend trying out the Sketchfab add-on. The Sketchfab add-on is completely free. And one of the things that I really love about it is that although you can go to the website and purchase some of their models, the add-on only shows you the free stuff, which is great. You don't need to waste your time wading through the paid content. It only shows you the free stuff. Using the Sketchfab add-on, I was able to find this beautiful boy. The model you use may not match the rig perfectly. Fortunately, Auto Rig Pro has a bunch of tools that makes matching them extremely easy. Simply go to the Edit Reference Bones and start moving bones around to match your model. Once you're done, click the Match to Rig button and all of your controllers will come back readjusted to fit your model. From here, we just need to bind the model to the rig. Although you can use the usual Blender binding tools, Auto Rig Pro does come with its own options, which can often give better results. For example, I found the voxelized binding to be extremely useful when binding multiple objects, like a character along with their clothing. In this case though, the heat map should be enough for our needs, so let's bind this fellow. This is where having that walk cycle from earlier is extremely useful. Not only do you have a solid walk cycle to start with, but it's fantastic for testing your weight paints and being able to fix anything that the auto binding didn't quite get right. Now, because we changed the reference bones earlier, this does affect the underlying animation. So the bigger changes you make to those bones, the bigger difference you'll see in the animation. Fortunately, we didn't change too much, so fixing this animation is going to be fairly simple. Sketchfab isn't just great for finding models of creatures, it's also really good for finding background assets such as trees, bushes and other environmental assets. Using Sketchfab I can quickly knock together a scene for our little dino buddy. With a quick bit of camera and lighting work we can produce a wonderful little animation in no time at all.
All right, I think you all know what you're doing now. Let's throw together another quick shot. This time, I want to make a swimming shark. These tools make it really fast to knock together these shots. In fact, I made all of these shots in a single day. There'll be links to all of these add-ons and tools in the description below. And if you guys haven't had enough of Auto Rig Pro yet, go check out my behind the scenes Gremlins video. We talk about using motion capture tools in Auto Rig Pro, as well as using the Face It add-on for facial motion capture. These are some of my favorite tools to play with at the moment. See you in the next video. Happy blending.